all of my loyal 40 free subs, I think it is right now. Uh, first off, sorry I'm not in my usual set. I'm at my dad's house right now. Uh, and I don't usually record here. Just, I don't know why. Uh, I just usually do it at my mom's. But that won't stop us. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about Nintendo's release schedule. Because currently, we're already five months into the year. And we haven't really had a lot of big, uh, what's it called, first party games come out this month, uh, so far. But for the rest of the year, uh, there are a lot of Nintendo first party games planned. I have it kind of, yeah. We have Super Mario Maker 3, uh, Fire Emblem Free Houses, which is uh, just ripping off Harry Potter. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Animal Crossing, uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, Luigi's Mansion Free, and Town, which is a Game Freak game. Uh, but Game Freak is basically just Nintendo's little brother. Uh, and then Bayonetta Free and Metroid Prime 4 uh, don't have a release date yet, I don't think. But probably uh, 2019. But the thing is, those are a lot of games. So if we got all those games, that would be great. But you see, the thing is, we're not gonna get all those games because that would be impossible. So what I'm saying is what games are probably gonna be released this year and which ones are gonna be not released this year. Uh, Super Mario Maker 3, Link's Awakening, and Pokemon Sword and Shield I'm pretty sure are gonna be released this year because they've already had footage shown, meaning the majority of the games are probably already completed. Uh, and also because uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, usually comes out Pokemon games usually come out every three years, so if it didn't come out, that would be uh, wouldn't make sense. And Super Mario Maker Free because it's already had its release date set. Uh, and I believe, mm, wait no, uh, yeah. So those three I think are sure to come out. Fire Emblem uh, Houses. I, wait, did I mention that? That I also think will come out. Town by Game Freak probably because uh, just it already has also had a trailer, which means it'll probably come out. Uh, but Animal Crossing, I'm not too sure about. Because I'm pretty sure they've said that's coming out this year. But they've only showed, like, one trailer for it, and it wasn't even a trailer. It was just at the end of one of the directs, or at the end of one of the Smash Brothers. Like, parts of the direct, after Isabel was like... What? They got me for Smash? Uh, so I don't... I think that might get postponed. But I'm not sure. Luigi's Mansion Free, I also think, is a very likely to get released uh, in 2020 or 20. Well, yeah, 2020, because they've also shown nothing about it. They could show more about these games at E3, but I think if they're going to show more about any games at E3, it would probably be uh, Link's Awakening. And wait, no, Fire Emblem Free Houses is isn't released that far after E3, so they won't talk about Super Mario Maker Free because it uh, is releasing pretty soon after. If they do, it won't be that much. Uh, is my theory. For Emblem Free Houses, maybe they'll talk about more. Pokemon Sword and Shield, they don't usually talk about Pokemon at E3. So, Bayonetta 3 and Metroid Prime 4, I'm just assuming, aren't coming out this year. Because there's nothing about Bayonetta 3 yet, and because Metroid Prime 4 is never coming out. Mm. So, of all the games I listed, uh, Super Mario Maker 3, Fire Emblem Free Houses, Pokemon, uh, Animal Crossing, Link's Awakening, Luigi's Mansion, Town. Uh, I think the most likely... To be postponed would either be Luigi's Mansion Free or Animal Crossing. Of those two, I think the more likely would probably be Luigi's Mansion Free. Because, like, Animal Crossing has games every few years, so, like, it's kind of predictable that they're going to release one about this time. Uh, but Luigi's Mansion hasn't really had a system. Editing mistake. I meant to say game, not system. Sorry. Since, like... The one on the Wii, which names I forget, it involves the word moon. I think it's like Dark Moon or something. Uh, so if they just proposed it, postponed it another year, like they've already taken too long, so it won't make that much of a difference to take like even longer. Like once it's been like 11 years, it won't matter if it's like 12. Uh, so I'm thinking Luigi's Mansion free. But this brings up a good question. Is 2019 being a good year for uh, the Nintendo Switch? So far, not really. You were right, Liam. They've had a uh, DLC, which is good for like Smash Brothers and games, uh, but not a whole ton. Mostly just uh, Smash Brothers DLC. There's been the Nintendo VR, which I haven't gotten because uh, I don't want to buy it because uh, it's blast, it's cardboard, and because you have to hold it like this instead of just strapping it on. Uh, but that no one really cares about that, and I feel like the only reviews I've heard of it are like negative. 
uh, because it's not even really VR. It's like a virtual boy. So I don't think so far it will be, but I think if we get the majority of the games that they're saying are going to be released later this year, I think it will be, but I'm not sure if we're going to get all those games. So who knows? I just want to make this video because I was watching a video by Arlo that came out like not very long ago. Straight up stole an idea for a video. So I was watching that and I was just like, hey, maybe I should make a video. Maybe I should steal an idea because I'm unoriginal and bad at YouTube. Uh, but I just want to say that. So comment below whether or not you think that Nintendo's schedule is good or bad. And also, don't, re don't mm, I was going to say don't remember. That means forget. That's really dumb. Don't forget to dislike this video, okay? It really does support me when you dislike my videos because it makes them less recommended, which means that you guys, my subscribers, are more elite. I had a different ending originally, and I didn't like it, so I'm re-recording it. Uh, well, like I already said, dislike, you know, all that, all that fun ironic stuff that no one thinks is funny and that no one likes. But I do it anyway because I don't really care if I'm successful on YouTube. I just think it's fun. But anyway, have a nice day. And remember, what was I even going to say to remember? I don't know. I don't like this ending either. I don't like any of the endings in my video. I should really script these, but I don't have time to write the script. My editing for this video was probably only like four minutes longer than the actual video. Whatever. Thanks.